Welcome to a new Safe Jazz Tips and Tricks podcast. And this time around, it's all about how to go to your Android settings of Alien Dalvik inside of Selfish OS. And what I want to show you right now is how I usually do it. So first of all, what we want to go, uh, want to do is go to settings and then we go to apps because we have to go somehow into the Android settings of Selfish OS. And to do this, it's a hack. So what you can see here under apps are now different apps and you just have to grab one Android app. Uh, just for example Instagram here and then you will see an option saying open Android settings and you just click on it and this will give you the Android settings of this particular app and then you have some options just like for example uninstalling the app for stopping the app which is also pretty handy if you cannot uh, somehow uh, close one app one Android app you can do this feature here you have also the option to set some permissions, some storage, some battery and other things that you want to change in here. Uh, but if you want to go to the global Android settings, what you have to do is just simply press on the back button here. And it will go out of the application, but you can see the application thumbnail is still running here. If you click on this right now, it will bring you to the Alien Dalvik or Android settings in this case. And you have some other options here, just like on normal Android 8.1. You have the option to set uh, various things up, just like, for example, network and internet, branded. You cannot, you can see the, the, the connections here, but you cannot really change the connections here. And the same goes for the mobile network, SIM cards and mobile plan. But what you can do is, if you want to use a VPN with Android apps, you have the option to use a VPN here and add in, uh, your own VPN. And of course, you have some connected devices like Bluetooth and casting devices, like for example, printing server. If you want to disable the printing service, you can do so. Or if you have USB connected uh, devices, you can maybe uh, try to see if you can control them here. But what's most interesting, I think, is the apps and notifications where you can see the various different apps that you have installed and you can then set the permissions for app notifications and so on. And app permissions as well, as you can see here. So you have the permissions sorted by permissions and you can then allow certain apps to access uh, those permissions. Um, just like, for example, WhatsApp has uh, permissions to... Um, uh, grab my contacts I just don't want this so I just disable this and the same goes for microphone I can enable or disable stuff accessing my microphone so the normal Android settings um, another option if you want to quickly access this um, settings those Android settings and you're changing stuff around uh, what you can do is um, also by the way another thing accessibility you have the option to also uh, set color inversion here so you have some kind of dark mode here enabled um, though this will also invert videos and photos which look then a bit weird so hmm, maybe not the best thing but what you can do is uh, if you have problems reading some stuff on android applications uh, enable high contrast and it will be have a nicer higher contrast especially useful for when you go out with your Surface phone and especially the Xperia um, uh, 10 Plus here has not the brightest display and if you're in direct sunlight okay I know granted in winter no problem but it's summer here in New Zealand currently so uh, high contrast text makes a lot of sense so I have this enabled so I can easily see stuff also in the sunlight so if you want to access the settings from your um, normal screen setting screen somehow from your normal uh, application drawer somehow what you can do there are two ways there's one native way called alien dalvik control that you can install which is available under open repos or another option is just simply installing an application called app launcher from fdroid so i can show you um, fdroid and there you have a simple app launcher find your apps quickly and this one you can just simply install and what this allows you to do is just simply have an app launcher for all your Android applications as you can see here all my Android applications are here it has some on its own like calendar for example and then allows you to download it from Android you can just say just once and it will say simple calendar for example uh, and you can go back and you have some other options just like for example the settings there you can add new android applications by pressing on plus and then for example files 
is missing, I can say OK. And now I have files here and I can just simply click on files and it will open up the file manager, the standard Android or Alien Dalvik file manager in this case. And of course I can go back here and I can say just simply uh, open up my settings, where are the settings here, which will open up really the settings menu of Android in Alien Dalvik on Selfish OS. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little um, tip. And uh, if you have some other nice, interesting tips regarding Alien Dalvik, for example, uh, just write them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.